Welcome to my access database. This very database you guys are looking at was developed using Notepad. Every single component in there or every single data was developed in Notepad. So I will now show you guys how I developed that. So let me start by showing you the headings. Okay, so I'll go in there and enter employer name then follow by address address one then comma and it will now enter address number two you might be wondering why am i doing it this way it is faster when it comes to entering or uploading your data so i will just speed this up and let you guys see how it's done okay as you can see i finished creating or developing the or entering the headings so the next thing is I just need to populate my database so I'll start by entering as follows let me just come here press enter and I'll start by saying the false uh, employer employee is, her name is Susan Summer so okay then uh, close that then enter the address let's say number 19 okay so this is how you create your own raw data which you can always import into access okay so let's speed this up and i get back to you guys i'm right there guys now i've completed my raw data look at it that's the raw data right there okay have a very good look at it if you want to create something very similar all you just need to do is whatever data you en intend to enter make sure it's within the speech mark and add a comma and that's it so once that is completed all you then need to do is i'm going to close that all you need to do is just to import your access so I will import this data into Access. So let me open up Access application right now. Now that I've opened up Access application, I will select blank. And uh, that's my blank asset application, which is automatically saved into my document folder. So I will then head for external data, which is right here. Select text file and click on browse once you click on browse locate wherever your file is and all i have to do now is to look for my raw data which is right here that's it right there click on employ employee details click on ok and go for ok then uh, this dialog box pops up all you need to do next is just click on next and right here select the headings for each column so that's it right there I've selected the headings for each column click on next and um, I think I like the arrangement so just click on next the next thing is choose your own primary key this is my primary key right here uh, NI number click on the NI number click on next and that's it that's all there is to it so you guys should be surprised that i've just finished creating my own database and i've populated every single data in there look at it that is beautiful here i have the employer name address second address postcode telephone number and i national insurance number date of pay or pay date employer these guys are they are all being employed by dj omen airline then uh, their national insurance number code tax code tax period right here i have my reference pay reference and uh, basic salary i'm going to change this basic salary anyway uh, right here I have overtime basic overtime that they receive and 
if they're working in in a city and so on so so let me just change this uh, changes to something a bit different okay I'll repeat the same thing and get back to you guys so right there guys that's how you create your own uh, database using a raw data within a notepad and that's it I've made some changes to my basic salary so I'm just gonna leave it like that the next thing is for me to upload or import this into visual basic program so for now i just call it by for now and i'll see you guys here why i work on the visual basic program but for now you all have a nice day